Welcome back to Aspects of Morn Lore Dump. This is based on my anthology series that's coming out. We're still focusing on the short story of Snow Song. This time, her pet, Crit. You're probably thinking this has something to do with Dungeons and Dragons, doesn't it? You're not wrong. Uh, Crit is a poff. Now, if you're wondering what a poff is, think. Think ball of fur with a mouth full of razor sharp teeth. No eyes, nothing. It's just a ball of fur. And when it opens its mouth, it goes, oh my gosh. <laughs> Main diet are gremlins. And hey, now you're probably sitting there going, oh, they eat mogwai or the thing from the Spielberg? No, gremlins for me are a lot different. Gremlins on Morn are, um, think land piranhas. They go through the ground with little fins above the ground and they swarm and eat anything in their path. They're, they're tantamount to a cross between fish and a lizard. Um, yeah, no. Uh, puffs are the natural predators of, uh, uh, of gremlins. In fact, puffs are actually toxic to gremlins. They can't eat them. So <laughs> it's a loose loose situation where the gremlins are concerned uh, with regard to puffs. So yeah, my gremlins are not nice. And gremlins do play a role in the story. You'll see them. Um, pa, our crit rolled into the tavern on D&D &D night. Yes, they play Dungeons and Dragons and Born. Yes, they do. Again, they know the media, they know the content of our world, and they do play Dungeons and Dragons there. I know, kind of weird. Fantastical races playing D and D, and no, they don't play like they're on Earth. They just come up with their own adventures for other worlds or whatever they want to do. Um, but he rolled in the rolled in there, tried to eat the D twenty, spat it out, and rolled a natural twenty. The GM allowed the roll to count. If Snow Song kept Crit as a pet. Snow Song was intending to keep Crit as a pet anyway, but she sat there and said, cool, I have a pet named Crit now. <laughs> Crit is, they've been inseparable ever since. Uh, Crit is not a totem. Uh, Poffs exist in the northern, uh, the northern way uh, all over the place, and they are kind of like dwarf minimics. You need to take a class and learn for about a year in how to adopt one of these. It just so happened that Crit was pretty well tamed. Might have had a previous owner. Not gonna talk about that person just yet. It's kind of a shock. Um, if Crit stays still in the snow, it does look like a snow puff. Yeah, if you're wondering if I'm alluding to a certain game. Yes, but again, Crit's not a dog. Crit is a puff. A snow puff. No, just kidding. Uh, puffs do exist elsewhere. Some actually look like boulders when they curl up. Um, and some look like tumbleweeds. Those are in the arid areas. But yeah, puffs are kind of cool. And crit is by and far no exception to that. And with that, I will see you guys in the near future. And thank you for listening.